In this video, we are going to going to learn about uh, the basics of the formulas like sum average, which we have already seen in the in the previous uh, course curricula. Uh, it is just a refresher, uh, and it will it will form a base for the future videos or the future formulas which we are going to use it. So over here, the data which has been given to us is again a monthly trading data which has been given to us. Over here, which uh, we have to find out the total capital for pharma, total weightage for banks, and average impact cost. So this is all uh, we have to find out uh, as of now um, in this particular in this particular example uh, with the basics of formulas, of course. So when we start with this uh, calculate pharma total equity capital. Uh, so we have to locate where the equity capital is mentioned or where the equity, equity capital lies in the particular column. So over here, column D is the equity capital over here. So if we do the blanket sum and uh, select the entire column, then we will get sum number if we divide this by crores. So ultimately, it is like 53,000 crores, uh, which is the total equity capital of top 50 companies uh, in the in the index, which is Nifty 50. Now over here, we have been asked to find out, calculate equity capital only for the pharma firms. So that data is also with us. Say uh, the industry has been given to us. So we have to just look at the pharmaceuticals over here and for pharma companies only we have to find the equity capital so how do we do that so there is something called a sum if s so we will write sum if s sum if and sum if s difference is in sum if we can only have one condition or one criteria in sum if s uh, we can have multiple criteria uh, to do the sum i would always suggest you uh, to always go with some if s in the case in future there are more conditions which needs to be included then it's easy to defer the formula to change the formula some if you can also use that but it will only take one condition so in case in future you have to add multiple criteria then you have to shift it to some if s so that's the basic contour so we'll start with some if s first input is some range so what we, we are trying to sum which is equity capital we are trying to sum what is the criteria criteria range is basically industry and what is the criteria one which is the first criteria which is our only criteria which is it has to be pharmaceuticals and I will make it constant so that even if I drag in future it should not change the value and I will close the bracket so it basically says that and I will divide it by 1 crore. So basically says that pharma companies have a capital of 635 crore which are part of nifty 50 stocks. Okay. That's that's the basic idea about the sum as a function. Uh, moving on. We have calculate weightage of banks. Okay. Uh, so we have to first find out where the weightages are. And then again, we have to sum it. So weightages are in the column F. If a blanket sum the weightages without any condition, then it comes to 100%. Okay. But we have to do it for banks only. Then how do we do that? Again, uh, we can write sum if S, not necessarily you have to write in this particular cell you can write formula in any cell starting with W equal to so you have to start your formula with equal to uh, we'll start with sum if s what is the sum range what am I trying to add add all the weightages for banks what is my criteria range 1 criteria range 1 is industry has to be banks bracket comma what is my criteria with whom I am going to compare where the text is banks 
so i can either choose this or choose this or choose any other cell where banks are mentioned banks as a text is mentioned and then i will make this constant constant so in case in future if i drag it to some other place uh, the criteria should remain the same and i press enter it says that in nifty 50 uh, banks have 24.93 percentage as a weightage moving on so that's basically about sum if so we have seen two examples over here we have been asked to calculate calculate average impact cost over here we have been given the average impact cost percentage for each individual stocks uh, now we have been just asked that what is the average impact cost we can directly add this which is sum and which is 1.57 so total impact is 1.57 however if I want to find the average then I can write average as a formula and I will add this so on an average nifty 50 stocks have an impact cost of 0.3% okay now like we have uh, sum if as sum if in every in in is an extension of a formula of sum in average also we have average if and average if s which uh, which has a function similar to sum only the output is different because uh, sum will add all the things average will average it out so it will basically sum of all the things divided by total number of count or total number of samples under consideration so if I have 10 samples so it will add all the 10 divided by 10 so basically that will give me an output other than that all the inputs remains the same so that's basically about our basic functions which is sum, sum if, sum if s, average, average if and average if s. Uh, last point and again I am reiterating this fact. If you have multiple criteria then request you to use if s function. Either it's a sum if s or average if s. Even if you have one criteria I would still suggest you uh, to use if s function in case uh, you want to add any other criteria in the future. So that's pretty much about this video. Thank you.